Hey, what's up everyone? It's Nick, aka Dreamer from MT, back for another video. Today I'm going to be giving my input on the ever-growing argument about elitism and toxicity in Terra LFG and the PvE scene altogether. After debating on posts and once having been the undergeared newcomer and now being the endgame grinder, I feel that I've refined my opinion on the subject well enough to be able to speak about it. First, let's start off with elitism in terms of what it means to the majority of people that use the word. They're referring to someone who puts up an LFG requiring the best in slot gear for a dungeon that probably doesn't really need the best in slot gear to clear. They're referring to someone who chooses not to run with rookie players because they don't want to teach or carry them. They're referring to someone who chooses to exclude players who they know don't play their class up to their standard. They're referring to guilds that only accept the top players with the top gear and the top skill and ignore everybody else. Sure, these kinds of things can be labeled as elitism. There's a population of players in Terra who want to play with like-minded and like-skilled individuals. They want to play with people who put in the same time and effort as they do. Does that make them bad for the community? No, I think it pushes the roof of the community higher and higher every patch. Does it make them toxic and belittling of everyone else? In my opinion, it doesn't. They can play the game however they enjoy it the most. They have fun striving to be the best players they can be, and they want to be surrounded with other players that have that mindset. Now with that said, let's talk about toxicity in the community. This refers to people that bash other players for dying in runs, not knowing mechanics perfectly, or not playing their class up to par. This refers to people that bash other players for their gear rolls, for not having the best gear, and for being unskilled in hard mode dungeons. This refers to any player who is maliciously attacking another player without trying to be constructive. Toxicity is a part of every single online game. You don't have to be an elitist to be toxic. Have you guys ever played a game of Dota or League and one of your teammates starts badmouthing you about your play while they're not playing the best themselves? I'm sure any mobile player has experienced that before, and I'm sure most endgame players in Terra have experienced it before. The point I'm trying to make here is elitism and toxicity are two different things. Sure, they have some overlap. There's a lot of the top players that are complete douchebags, but one is not conductive of the other. Someone who puts up a plus 15 skilled LFG isn't automatically toxic in the same way someone being a huge douchebag isn't automatically an elitist. I want to give you my perspective when I joined this game and I was a new player. I saw a streamer doing TSHM and I thought it looked so cool that I came back to Terra after years of not playing it. I made a brand new character because I wanted to experience the whole game leveling up again. After about three days I was sitting in town really confused and eventually someone invited me to a guild. I joined and went into their team speak, they answered all of my questions, they helped me level up, and they started teaching me the beginner dungeons. I was determined to get better. I was looking up guides for all the dungeons, I looked up guides on how to play my class, how to do my rotation, how to roll my gear. I spammed AINM six to eight times a day for the mats to plus 12 my schisma and roll it. I had the drive to get the best gear I could and be the best player I could because that's who I am. In this guild, there also happened to be two veteran players that were just guild hopping around. They ended up teaching me the hard modes, AIHM, TSHM, and SCHM. Not because it was their job to, not because I expected them to. In fact, I tried talking out of teaching me hard modes many times because I was scared as fuck to be a floor mat. They taught me these dungeons because we were friends, and they're still my great friends to this day. I don't expect random people in LFG to teach me dungeons. I don't expect top players to want to play with a plus 12 Schisma Zerk learning TSHM. I played with my friends, and I played with people who wanted to run with us. Even this patch, when DS2 came out, my guildies who got the first clear in North America didn't take my hand and carry me through it. My friends and I got a group together, we went in head first, and wiped a shit ton to learn. And a week later we were doing runs to get our very own smolders. I'm going to quote a post from a thread that I was recently having this discussion in. How do you think us elitists got to where we are today? Do you think that LFG was any easier on us? Nobody is holding you back except you. Nobody is saying, you can't run that. They're simply saying, you can't run that with me. Nobody is saying, you can't have Starfall. You can't make it yourself. The elitists are simply people that didn't whine and cry and just played the game. They don't need to nurture and support you. We're not your freaking dad. Besides, how are you going to feel about your success if people better than you were carrying you the whole time? I'd rather fight and claw my way to the top, at least then I can respect myself. And that's all there is to it. We don't want you to fail, 
We don't want you to be unhappy. To be honest, we just want to enjoy the game. And on the other side of that, we don't care if you fail. We don't care if you're happy or not. And it's not mean or insensitive. It's just not any of my business. Stop trying to make it my business by saying what I should or shouldn't do. I'm here to make myself better and reach the goals that I set for myself in this game, not to reach your goals for you. And while I do think that the person in that post was being a bit harsh, I don't think that he was being untrue. The real problem people have with elitism is that they feel left out of the fun. If you look at it like there's a group of people that don't want to run with you, they can seem like a group of douchebags. But from, from that group's perspective, having a group of people expect learning runs and carries from you, they seem like a bunch of douchebags. So no side is really right here. If you're just a player that's playing Terra casually and for fun, and you don't want to be the best player, that's great, more power to you. But you shouldn't expect the top players that take the game very, very seriously to want to play with someone who doesn't. In closing, while I do think it would be nice if the community was more supportive of new players, that's what guilds are for. That's what friends are for. You play how you want, and you improve together at your own speed. So the next time you get frustrated being denied from an LFG, don't get upset and rant about it on the forums or Reddit, calling people elitist and calling people toxic. Make your own LFG. Surround yourself with people with your mindset. Join a guild of your skill level. Make friends of your skill level. Run with people that you like running with. Don't expect strangers to teach or carry you, because it's not their job to. It's yours. I hope that this video has showed you guys the mindsets of the people that come off as elitist or toxic. But not everyone at the top is a big grumpy cunt, I promise. There's a lot of great people that come off as elitist or come off as exclusive just because they want to be surrounded with people that try as hard as they do. You can't hold that against them. Thank you for listening, and regardless if you agree with my opinions or not, have a good one. What are we